Hello everyone, and today I will be reviewing uh, Mac OS X Mavericks 10.9, the gold, uh, Golden Master release. And um, I'm almost finished installing it on my computer here. Uh, when it finishes, I'll come back. Okay, so Mavericks is now starting up. You can see the whole rainbow thing up here. And I will come back when it has fully booted. Okay, so Mavericks has uh, completed installing and now it's going to ask me to sign with my Apple ID. So I'm just going to do that real quick and I will be right back. Okay, so now it's just going to ask us to accept these terms and conditions. So I'm going to go ahead and click agree. Agree. Setting up your Mac. Setting up. Okay, so it's finally logged in, got into the login screen. So you can see it looks a little bit different than the uh, the mountain lion, more flat like iOS 7. I think it's called scomorphic sc design. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in here real quick, and then we can check out the OS. Okay, so I've logged into OS X Mavericks, and you can see that if I get to about this Mac, I'm actually running version 10.9 Golden Master build 13A598, which is believed to be the version that will be released to the public um, supposedly in late October. Um, let's take a look at some of the uh, the new features, the new apps uh, that came with the operating system that are built in, um, and then we'll talk about some of the features. So first is iBooks, and basically if you have um, any in iBooks in iTunes already, um, they'll be transferred to your library. You can see the store looks pretty similar to the iTunes store um, as it was before, just in a separate app now. So I've got a couple of PDFs that it found, um, and I have Winnie the Pooh, I guess, for whatever reason. Um, Collections, authors, categories, just a list. And we also have the new Maps app. Um, it looks a lot like Google Earth. Um, this is the hybrid version you can see up here. There's also a satellite and a standard version. There's, you know, uh, right here is just find where I am, and then you can see uh, the building layout. I think that might even be 3D buildings, and then you can do cars. And you have directions that come out here on the side. You can say, you know, just close that. Um, you can also see here is where it's uh, where it's night and where it's day, which is really cool. Um, you can check that out sometime once you get it. Um, then the third one is uh, they updated Safari UI a little bit. Instead, over here you have this new bit, and that when you hover over these, there is a there's a little thing that comes up. You can either pin them, you can remove them from your thing, whatever. Um, there's also this where you can look at your tabs. So that's a little bit different. Um, in Finder, now we have something like, if I go to my pictures, um, I can make another tab. Over here is my documents. I go to Applications. I can go to my desk. So you can have multiple tabs open instead of having Windows. And you can actually um, sort your files by, the, by tags instead of having them um, like colored and stuff. I mean, you can still do that. Um, a lot of the features are still the same. You have notification center looks very similar, except there's this messages thing. Um, as far as I remember uh, from the initial, when somebody sends you a, uh, there's also do not disturb here. When somebody sends you a message, it'll pop up in the uh, upper right hand corner, and for at least iMessage, you can uh, you can reply right in that pop up. So that's really nice. Um, some of the new built-in parts of the operating system. Um, including the the built-in uh, applications like Apple Maps and iBooks, uh, the uh, there's this power-saving nap function, sort of like an iOS, uh, where if you close an application, it'll it'll pause it in the background to um, conserve battery power, and uh, compressed memory among new features, so it'll um, it'll speed up your, your computer and it'll uh, it'll save power as well. So you can see here on the side that I'm also running Windows. I actually have uh, 8.1. So if you guys like this video, then uh, please hit the like button, subscribe, um, drop a comments in, in the section below if you'd like to see a Windows 8 uh, little preview video before it is uh, released to the public.